Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about OSCAD optimization MBPT algorithm for solar PV system with the pattern shading effect. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. For implementing OSCAD optimization MBPT, we refer this paper. This paper is published in the Knowledge Based System in the title of OSCAD Optimization Algorithm. The detail about that uh, OSCAD Optimization Algorithm, that means the paper link is uh, provided in the description. So, kindly check for that reference paper. So, this paper is implemented based upon the following flowchart. So, first we need to randomly generate the OS position for the OS position you have to find out the fitness function so after fit, finding fitness function you have to calculate the age of the horses known as alpha, beta, comma and del okay. so after uh, calculating age of the horses like alpha, beta, comma and del then we have to apply the velocity function so after applying the velocity function, the host, a new host position will be updated based upon this velocity function of the different horses like alpha, beta, gamma and delta. So this is going to be executed up to the stopping criteria is reached. So this is the working of this uh, host head optimization algorithm. So same host head optimization algorithm will be used for extracting maximum power from the PV panel so in this paper you can see the code right code about that uh, age deter uh, determination and velocity updation here right so here you can see that so this is a code used for finding age and uh, uh, updating the velocity of the different horses uh, based upon the ages right in this equation used to for for updating the velocity of the alpha horse here this equation is to for updating the beta horse velocity uh, so this equation is to for updating the velocity of the gamma horse and then this equation is to for updating the delta horse okay so the same equation going to be used to for applying the MPPT algorithm in the solar PV system so this is a code is to for maximum power point tracking algorithm so based upon has had optimization the same detail is provided here okay so the data is taken from the same paper and then here you are calculating the age of the horses so for example the age that means cc value is less than 0.1 into number of horses then it comes under alpha hours and then cc is really is less than or equal to 0.3 then it comes under beta hours and cc is less than or equal to 0.6 into ns and then it comes under comma horses okay if the if suppose the cc is uh, uh, not blanks to this condition that horse is going to be considered as a delta so based upon this age this is the age categorization of the horses okay so based upon this age, age categorization you have to update the velocity so this is a velocity update rule for the alpha beta gamma and delta horses okay so after updating the velocity function so the velocity can be added with the the duty cycle okay so here d nothing but duty cycle and velocity nothing but uh, velocity of the different horses depends upon the age of the horses okay so this is a code is implemented here that may ask third of optimization code implemented here for the maximum power point tracking algorithm so this is a code for a maximum power point tracking algorithm with the as had optimization algorithm so this is simulink model used to for testing that uh, as had optimization mbpt algorithm 
so here you can see that this uh, has had optimization in VPT it is going to receive two inputs VPV IPV so inside we are uh, calculating PV power and then we are applying that uh, has had optimization algorithm for finding the optimal duty cycle the out output of the this algorithm is duty cycle this duty cycle can be processed via PDLM generator so this PDLM generator generates the pulse for this IGPT okay. so this IGPT that means this is known as boost converter so this boost converter going to be controlled by means of the duty cycle from that uh, hash card optimization in PPT for extracting the maximum power from the PV panel so this is a PV panel and this is the load ok so here we have 3 P panel right so total it have 3 panel that means total cells is 16 total 60 cells is there so each 20 cell is connected in series so in order to create in that partial shading effect so total rating of this panel is 250 watts so here we are measuring the power of the PV panel and the, that load uh, power and then here we are measuring the PV voltage and the load voltage so here we are measuring PV current and the load current so first I am going to test the model with the uniform irradiation that means uh, the irradiation for our panel that means uh, 3 cells that means uh, PV cells from 1 to 20 and 21 to 40 and 41 to 60 so I am going to make the all irradiation which is equal to same that means I am going to fix 1000 for all this panel right uh, if I fix this irradiation equal to 1000 for this 3 panel right then the maximum power for this system is around 249.8 watts ok under uniform condition at 1000 watts per meter square so now we are going to check the response of the system under task had optimization in VPD whether this MBPD is extracting the maximum power from the PV panel or not. Okay. So this is a variation of the duty cycle from that uh, task card optimization in BPT and then this is the extraction of the power from the PV panel. So here you can see that the PV panel power is going to reach around 248.9, right? So, by using this uh, as head uh, optimization in VPD, it extracts the maximum power from the PV panel okay, under uniform irradiation condition. So, next you have to check the. So, here you can see that uh, the current of uh, PV panel and the current of the load. So, this is uh, voltage of the PV panel and the voltage of the load. Okay. So next you have to check the same PV panel under partial shading condition. So for that I am going to make the second panel irradiation equal to 300. So now we have to find out the theoretical value of the peak power. So it have two peaks right, peak 1, peak 2. But actual maximum power is, that means global maximum power is this point only. So here you can see that the maximum power around 160.9 watts. Okay. So next you have to check the condition, you have to fix the same condition here, 1300, 1000. Now you have to check the, the power extraction from the PV panel with the pass head optimization in VPT. So you should extract the maximum of 160.9 watts. So we will check the results. So we will check the duty cycle variation. So here you can see that this is a variation of duty cycle. So the has had optimization try to finding the optimal duty cycle. Okay. So here you can see that the PV power is approaching towards that maximum point, right? Around 160.9, right? So for the condition also you can see that 
the p panel is maintained p panel power is maintained around the the peak point right around 160.9 watts okay so for this condition also the os had optimization will be pt so extract the maximum power from the pv panel so next i am going to fix the another condition so that mean i am going to make this panel irradiation equal to 1000 and here i am going to make the irradiation equal to 800 right so 1000 1800 so you have to find out the peak point now so here also we have two peak points so this is local peak point so this is a global peak point so here the global peak point value is 215.2 watts right for this particular condition so i'm going to fix the irradiation for the second panel is 1000 and then that is 800 i'm going to simulate the model we will check the result of the system for the irradiation 1000 1800 the p panel power should be around 215.9 or 215 point 215.2 watts right so here you can see that the p panel is reached almost around 215 watts right okay so for that condition also the maximum power extracted from that solar pv panel under partial setting effect by means of a R squared optimization in bpt algorithm for solar pv system under partial setting effect so for uniform irradiation condition as well as partial shedding condition R squared optimization in bpt effectively extract the maximum power from the pv panel thanks for watching our videos Kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.